Hey, what's up? It's Zach here, and today I'm gonna show you how to get a silky smooth metal lead tone in any version of Cubase for free. Well, there you have it. Let's get started. You're going to need to download the plugin package linked in the video description. Once that's done downloading and the plugins are installed, open up Cubase and load a project. In your lead guitar track, open the channel settings and add the plugins. TSE 808, Nick Crow 8505, Lapu Le Cab, and a big fat stereo delay of your choice. Open up the TSC 808 interface and turn the gain, volume, and tone all the way up to maximum, maximum, maximum. In Nick Crow 8505, we're going to turn up the gain, lows, turn down the mids, turn the sweep up to max, and turn up the power amp. Next, we're going to open up Poulain Le Cab. Load the Catharsis S Press High Impulse. Flip the switch. Set the pan to center. Turn off the second cabinet and hit the power on button. Now it's now time, it's for, time the for the <laughs> Shut up, Max. Come here, I'll beat your head in. I'm going for a delay that just smears the tone all over the stereo image. I'm using Cubase's built-in delay, but normally I'd use Echo. Echo. Now for the EQ. Since this tone is mid-range heavy, you will want to have a fairly scooped tone on the rhythm guitars and not too much mid on that bass guitar right there to really allow this tone to cut through. The EQ on the lead track should look something like this. Lows rolled off around 100 hertz, highs rolled off around 8 to 10,000 hertz, and mids boosted around 800 hertz. The mid boost will act as your presence control in the mix. And that's all there is to it. Let's hear how it sounds. If you want more smoothness or warmth on the tone, consider loading a second, darker sounding impulse into Lapu Le Cab and adjusting the blend. 